Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, this is another little demonstration video of uh, some of the modifications I do to the older generation consoles. Uh, this time it's the Sega Master System um, and I've fitted a, a PAL and NTSC switch uh, so we can run the games at 60Hz which is uh, generally a bit better, makes them a bit more playable. Um, so on the side I've got the switch here which is a, a push button switch. I've opted for this this time mainly for cosmetic reasons. It's a bit nicer than the old throw switches that we fit into the Sega Mega Drives. Um, so what we'll do, we'll just let you see it as it powers up in normal mode. So you know, this is currently doesn't have a cartridge in it. Uh, this is one of the later Mark ones that has the the built-in games. I bought this actually from a guy on eBay who told me that it didn't have any built-in games. So I was thinking that's fine. Um, the older ones are actually easier to modify than this particular one um, because of this one you have to start lifting pins off uh, pins off chips and everything. It's a bit it's a bit hard stopping at times. Um, but yeah, so I'll just power it off. Hit the switch. Power it back up. And as you can see, it's a bit faster. Uh, screen's a bit bigger as well, and you can probably tell with the the, the display isn't flickering as much with the camera. So and that's pretty much it. Um, we'll just start up. Hang on, grab the controller. Back down. You can also see if you hit the switch while it's running, as it goes down. So good to hang on. You can see as we're switching back to PAL, it's slowing down a bit, up to NTSC, much nicer. So, there you go.